developments in the flu fight, some major hospitals locally are now making major changes to the way they operate, all because of the outbreak. In the last 30 minutes, the entire Baylor system went to code yellow. JPS in Fort Worth went to code yellow earlier today. That means extra staff is working to handle growing a growing number of patients. And in some cases, surgeries are being delayed and patients are being sent to other hospitals. CBS 11's Robbie Owens is at JPS tonight with more on the flu fight there. Robbie. Well, Karen, hospital officials tell me that those cases are being evaluated on a case-by-case -case basis. But yes, for the duration of this flu outbreak, they say as a level one trauma center, they have to be able to respond to emergencies. So among other things, that means that elective procedures are being postponed. And for the time being, they are no longer accepting non-trauma transfers from other facilities. As the flu and other respiratory illnesses hit North Texas hard, emergency room traffic at John Peter Smith in Fort Worth is up some 35 percent. So many patients need inpatient care that hospital staffers are struggling to find places to put them. We've had as many as 35 patients waiting for admission taking up our 56 ER beds. The ER backlog at area hospitals got so bad this week that ambulances were sometimes delayed an hour or more waiting for patients to be admitted. So MedStar implemented a protocol developed during the flu outbreak of 2009, bringing in extra stretchers and putting paramedics in the hospital emergency rooms. Either our field supervisors or our mobile health care paramedics actually monitor multiple patients that we've brought in and the ambulances can take the spare stretchers and go back out onto the street to respond to the calls that we have coming in. Hospital officials say the plan has been a tremendous help, but they are still pushing prevention. This is a virulent strain, so if people have not gotten the flu vaccine, they need to go get their flu shot. Uh, they don't want to go through what some of our patients have gone through. It hurt a little bit, but I didn't cry. Eight-year-old Destiny and her brother Aiden got their shots today. Um, I don't like shots myself. So. But mom remains unconvinced. I use hand sanitizer like it's lotion, and I wash my hands constantly. So, so you're just going to try to stay I'm awake. just going to try and prevent it that way instead of getting the needles. Now, that is not what health officials want to hear. Right now, there are 13 patients being treated for the flu here at JPS. Three of them are in ICU. And that 13, that's half of what the hospital was treating at one time. So they are hoping that they've seen the worst of it. But they also know that April, when flu season usually ends, is still months away. Live at JPS in Fort Worth, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News.